Well, a new poll shows Democrat Laura Kelly and Republican Chris Kobach in a, essentially a dead heat for the race for governor. That's according to a poll done by the Public Policy Polling Group. Let's take a look at those numbers. Chris Kobach sits at 39%, Laura Kelly at 38%, and Greg Orman at 9%. And independent Greg Orman says those numbers are not legitimate. KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Brandt is live from the State House to explain. Jace, the poll was paid for by KNEA, a Kansas teachers union that supports Laura Kelly. But independent Greg Orman says that it's just an attempt to keep people from voting for him. That connection is why there's some debate over the poll's legitimacy. You know, that was just a highly partisan poll done by an ally of the Democratic Party, and it's just another uh, partisan dirty trick. You know, the reality is they want to avoid competition, they want to avoid accountability. But Washburn political science professor Dr. Bob Beatty says that as long as polling companies are transparent about their methods, there's no reason to doubt their numbers. So we're able to, to look at these polls and really go to get a good sense uh, of the race as long as they're scientific. They're done in a scientific manner, and this one was. A major contention from the Orman camp was that they didn't sample enough independent voters. But Beatty says there's a reason for that. Often independents have a tough time uh, getting excited about elections and, and coming out and voting. So what these polls represent is who they think is going to vote on election day. While there are five candidates on the ballot, Beatty says this race may only come down to two candidates. Obviously, it can change. But it does give us a real good sense of this race. It does look like it's, a, at this point, a Kobach-Kelly uh, smackdown. But Orman says people shouldn't count him out yet. I believe very firmly we're going to win this race in November. Kelly's campaign responded to Orman's criticisms of the poll, saying she's disappointed that he's attacking KNEA. And Kobach's campaign has not yet responded to the poll. Live at the Capitol, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, Hannah, thank you. And in addition to Kelly, Kobach, and Orman, Libertarian Jeff Caldwell and another independent, Rick Kloos, will also be on the November ballot.